Since decades, stray dogs along the roads, near shopping malls, public facilities, and on factory sites have occupied their territory and defined it fiercely against intruders. They run after cars, they happily wag their tails if a passerby addresses them in a friendly way, but they also growl at people when they feel they are disliked and sometimes they also bite. They search litter bins and hope they find something to eat. They mate and get puppies. They hole in the night with full moon and leave their own rules after having been released into semi-wildness. We human beings, we like or not, we are responsible for the fate of these poor creatures because they derive from dogs which were once abandoned by their owners or from puppies that were thrown into the streets as nobody spends money on having the beach castrated. Some of the puppies survive until they are run over by a car or they are beaten to death or caught by the local snakers. Once they are caught, most of them are killed in a hum inhuman and cruel way, as if Romania has never joined the European Union. For 20 years, this unfair battle against the stray dogs has been fought and up to date, hundreds of thousands have already been killed in a barbarous manner, with clubs, poison, or by euthanizing them. But many stay alive, and the stray dog nowadays is almost a national symbol, whereas other dogs live in houses because, as human beings, also dogs do not have equal rights. A pathway out of this situation Romania has been dealing with for a number of years now has to be found by using our brains as well as with our hearts. A solution by radical measures as they were applied to a certain ethnic group not very long ago will make Romania known as a country that extinguishes her dogs. The Association for the Protection of Animals that have been dealing with this topic learned that the only method to decrease the number of stray dogs is to neuter them. The Brasov-based association Millions of Friends recently initiated such a project because in the city of Brasov and in surroundings 400 dogs and more are killed every month. As the mayor of the village Terlungen is supporting our initiative, we started the first castration campaign here. Our team consists of four vets and one medical assistant. The equipment necessary for the castration is very basic and does not match modern veterinary standards. We use the clinic of the local vet for our campaign. We are in the middle of the battlefield now. The team is very passionate and full of affection. Three German vets from Berlin who are spending their summer holidays in Brasov joined us to give the dogs a second chance. The first local people bring their dogs. Although they have an owner, these dogs are also almost stray dogs, as they run around freely most of the time. All these dogs are malnourished, badly kept, and full of parasites. They are now treated medically and vaccinated, and finally receive a microchip by which they obtain the right to live on. The Foundation Brigibado from France, Itene, BMT and Tasso from Germany are the four partners which support the castration campaign of the Romanian Association Millions of Friends. If they are association from abroad which are not convinced that also the Romanian dogs need help, they should just look at these creatures whose their only thought is that they were born in a country that does not want them. Dogs do not have a citizenship. They are just dogs, as any other dogs 
all over the world and they are men's best friends. Unfortunately, we humans are not always their best friends. Unfortunately, the results of our campaign are not visible at once as some politicians may wish. However, in future, we will prove that the number of the dogs in Tulungen will decrease. With regard to the Association for the Protection of Animals, for us, it is a success if we manage that some hundred unwanted souls are not born. We will continue the campaign also when the German vets will leave. Certainly, it will take more time. However, we are sure that our persistence will finally lead to victory. To the victory over the cruel killing of innocent creatures which have a right to live, although they are nobody's dogs. And if we manage to convince the councillors of Russia and above all the citizens through our campaign that there is another way to reduce the number of stray dogs, we will extend our campaign. We do hope that our campaign serves an example and that also other villages and towns will join and decide for the life and against death.